Hi, I'm Tom Nahomi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to configure NVMe over fabric connectivity between PowerStore and ES6A hosts and perform some day-to-day -day tasks. PowerStore was built from ground up for modern storage media and in the initial release, NVMe was used within the appliance while over the network, the transport mechanism was standard SCSI protocol. PowerStore OS 2.0 now extends NVMe benefits across the networks with NVMe over fabric channel support. NVMe over fabric is much more efficient, parallel, and scalable than SCSI. It's designed to make an external networked array feel like direct attached storage to hosts. The best thing about this release is how easy it is to activate the new capability. It's simply software update, and if your appliance already had 32GB fiber channel I.O. modules, you won't need any additional power store hardware. Any hosts that support NVMe can now use that protocol to talk to power store, while SCSI hosts continue as if nothing has changed. Power store and the network itself can handle both protocols. Now, I'm going to configure my power store connectivity with vSphere. From the main screen, we navigate to Host and Host Group tab, and then click on Add Host button. We specify a name and click Next. Here, we select NVMe Initiator Type and click Next. The NVMe Qualified Name, NQN, is used to uniquely identify the remote target or initiator. It is similar to an iSCSI Qualified Name, IQN. We select our host and click Next and Add Host to complete the task. Now, we navigate to the Volumes tab in order to create a new volume. We provide a name and size and click Next. Here, we check the NVMe radio button and select our host. Unlike SCSI protocol, with NVMe, there is no need for rescans. NVMe has async events which allows the array to instantly inform a host of a new storage, resize, etc. In vSphere, you will automatically see the new volume under the Volume Devices tab. You will find some useful information such as multipathing policy, size, identifier, name, and more. By navigating to the Storage Adapters tab, you will automatically see that the new volume appears as a namespace. In NVMe storage arrays, a namespace is a storage volume backed by some quantity of non-volatile memory. In the context of E6i, the namespace is a storage device or LAN. NVMe controller is the target manager on the array. A controller is associated with one or more several NVMe namespaces and provides an access between the ESXA hosts and the namespaces in the storage array. Next, we create a new VMFS data store on the volume. Space reclamation is supported with NVMe devices as well. On the second NVMe data store, I have a Windows virtual machine running some workload. I'm filling the data store with some data to show the unmap capability. As I've mentioned before, with NVMe, there's no need for rescans. If I increase the data store size, the array instantly informs the connected hosts about the operation. Now, let's delete the Windows Virtual Machine in order to free up some space on the array. As you can see, right now, 400 gig of physical capacity are in use. I'm running the E6ALI unmap command, which translates it to the allocate NVMe command. Within a few seconds, you can see that physical capacity used shrank to 85 megabyte. For NVMe devices, VMware provides the high-performance plugin, HPP, 
to improve the performance of storage devices on the ESXi host. HPP replaces the NMP for high-speed devices such as NVMe. HPP is the default plugin that claims NVMe over fabric targets. Within ESXi, the NVMe over fabric targets are emulated and presented to users as SCSI targets. HPP supports only active-active and implicit Alua targets. HPP uses path selection schemas to manage multipathing just as NMP uses PSP. HPP offers the following PSS options. Fixed, use a specific preferred path. Load balance round robin, this is the default PSS. After 1000 IOPS or 10 megabytes, whichever comes first, the path is switched in a round robin fashion. This is the equivalent of NMP PSP round robin. Load balance IOPS. When 1000 IOPS are reached, VMware will switch the paths to the one that has the least number of outstanding IOs. Load balance bytes. When 10 megabytes are reached, VMware will switch the paths to the one that has the least number of outstanding bytes and latency. This is the same mechanism available with NMP. VMware evaluates the paths and decides which one has the lowest latency. HPP can be managed in vSphere client as well as E6 CLI commands. We recommend using the default load balance round robin policy and change the IOPS per path from 1000 to 1. Whether or not you have immediate plans for NVMe over fabric, this capability shows the flexibility and investment protection Parstore provides. As Dell continues to lead adoption of new technologies, your roadmap is in good hands with the adaptable Parstore platform. I really hope you find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.